Hi everybody, this is Debbie from Stamps and Stuff and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based out of beautiful Lake Havasu City, Arizona. And we got some rain yesterday, it was storming a little bit, kind of interrupted my videos for my online classes to go, but it's a beautiful day today, it's nice and sunny, so I hope it is pretty where you are and everybody is thawing out from any snow that they have in those areas but we've already hit 100 degrees here so i don't know whether we're going to have a early summer or not it's kind of nice when we get through june without hitting those 100 degrees so anyway it's cool today and really pretty so Let's get started here. I have a few announcements. Now, our paper pumpkin for next month, there is a special if you sign up on May 7th. It's $5. So um, it goes from the 7th to the 10th while supplies last only. So you don't want to snooze if you snooze you lose so anyway that's a good deal there is a joining special that is um, going on in may and for your 99 dollars instead of 125 dollars in product there is 55 155 dollars in product Plus, you get the free paper pumpkin, the free shipping, you get all your business supplies. So, if you add all of that up, that is over a $200 value for your $99. So, now's the time to join. Anyway, there you go. That will be starting May 4th. Okay. Now... I've had a lot of people ask, where are the PDFs on um, the cards? And where they are is they are on my blog. My website blog is the hub for everything. If you want to stamp with me, you can do it off the website. If you want to contact me, you can do it off the website. If you want free PDFs, it's on the website. If you want... Uh, all the gallery projects, it's on the website. If you want a uh, paper pumpkin, it's on the website. Um, everything is based on the website. I get up in the morning, I check the website to see if I'm alive. So anyway, everything stems from the website. So anyway, what the PDFs look like is this is one on another class and you ha will have pictures and then there will be measurements and uh, instructions and then there is a supply list and where I am putting that all the time now is there will be a picture of the project. Then below it, there is the YouTube video that I have put on the blog. Right in between those two, it will say, for a free PDF, click here. And so when you click on the word here, H-E-R-E, -E, and it's in all caps and it's bold, I'm gonna have my, I need to have my website guy get me a little button to put on there. Anyway, you click on that and that brings your PDF up and you can print it off. So that is, uh, and now I'm putting them in the same place so that everybody will kind of know where they are. So, okay, that's it. Okay, now when the other day when I was doing the Simple to Stunning we did these cards and they are on video they're on the website they're in the project gallery that we went from simple to stunning on that and i had kind of a teaser here which was this card and then i've also done this which um it's kind of a, a pull-out fun fold. Um, it's been around for a long time. I don't remember exactly what the name is, but I'm calling it a, a pull-out fun fold. So that is what we're doing today. And it uses 
the art gallery. Let me see here. Let me check and see if I get my comments. Oh, hi, Jesse. Susan, is Debbie running late? No, actually, I was 10 o'clock, and I am trying to go 10 o'clock Tuesday, 10 o'clock on Friday, and that's mountain time, mountain standard time. So, Becky, hi. It's beautiful but windy today. Okay. Good morning, Peggy. Good morning, Ramona, Jesse, Susan, Becky. Welcome, everybody. Also, if any of you guys, YouTube guru, gurus, what I'm realizing is, um, and I noticed it right off the bat, so I have Tim watch live, and he, he gets writes down the names of comments so everybody gets in for the drawing. But my live comments disappear after the live. So the only ones that show on a continuing basis are the ones that come on the replay. So does anybody, and I have I was in earlier checking on my uh, internet and seeing if anybody knows why, and they say it's in the settings. I've went in the settings. I do not see where... Um, I can change that. So if anybody is a YouTube guru, which I am not, please let me know because I don't want to um, lose anybody's comments or lose their opportunity to get into the drawings. So anyway, and speaking of drawings, do not let me forget, I've got another drawing. I've got the drawing on this one. To announce. In fact, let me do that first. So, um, okay. Now this is on Butterfly Brilliance. And this is Randy Malone. And you have won the Darling Donkeys. So get in touch with me with your address. On our team drawing, our team drawing for um, my team, Angel and Lynn have won that. Also, where is my, I have one. I will post it on the website. I have, <laughs> for this class, I do have a winner. It's on my desk in my office, so Anyway, um, not to fear, but I will continue to post them. If you go to stampsandstuff.org, I try to keep everything updated there for that. So, um, anyway, okay. So today we are going to be using the same um, set. It's Art Direct Art Gallery, the Floral Gallery Dies. The um, embossing folder, I love this. It is my new favorite. And I thought nothing would, would beat Parisian Flourish. But anyway, I love this one. And then we'll be using the rectangle stitch dies. Okay. And the dies we'll be using are, see this empty spot here? Those are the dies. Anyway, so it is the third and fourth from the largest dies on the rectangle stitch dies. That's what we'll be using. So, all righty here. <clears throat> okay. Get my little pieces out here. Where's my little tray? Seems like I've got everything under control till I hit the live button. And then I can't find anything. Okay, so these are the dies. I used the one for our little sentiment. Then this is the fourth largest. And I have run it through the die. Now look at that. Is that not cool? Anyway. 
Okay. Now I will and let's get this here. Okay, now what we are going to do first is you will take a half sheet of cardstock. And this is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And you're going to mount uh, whatever designer paper that you want. Now, what I did was I just glued it around the edge because we're going to cut this off. And then when these come out, let me take this. And when I run dies, I always secure them. I know you don't have to, but I do. I don't like them sliding around. And there's nothing worse than coloring an image, getting the die on there perfectly and running it through and finding out it has slid. And so I save myself the heartache. Okay, so this we can put aside for another project. So we will have this opening here. Now then, <clears throat> our mechanism here, this sheet, let me get this, is, I think it's, is it five? Yes, it's five, whoop, duh. <laughs> oh, you guys, I tell you, five by eight. Okay, and then I have it scored at two, four, six. So anyway, we are going to go two mountain folds and a valley fold. And this is really very easy. Okay. So we have two mountains and a valley. So it's kind of it's kind of gonna look like this. Why do I have that under here? I've got a comment in the middle. I hope it's not. South Dakota. Hi, Denise. Carol. Oh, thank you. I got, oh, my head is going to get so big, it's not going to, I said it's not going to fit through the door. You guys are just too good. Okay, so what I am going to do is I am going to take this with the valley fold, and I am going to... Mount it right here, and I am watching these two corners here, and I'm going to mount it right there. Okay, now then I'm going to fold this in half so it looks almost like it's mounted in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take right on this edge here and I am going to take and put tape right there and there you go and that's all there is to it you know you thought it was really tough but it isn't so okay now then with this here when you mount this, you want to make sure you are only mounting it on this side here. You want to leave this free. Otherwise, if this is, is um, married down there, it's not going to open right. You want to have it free to open. So, I am going to take, in fact, I'm going to use the last of my last of my sheet here okay so I want to put them on this side and I'm gonna put that there oh 
That's, that one is empty. I get to open a new one. Small things amuse small minds around here. What can I say? Okay. Get the covers off of these here. And I am going to put this, I'm going to put it right in the center. Now, see, this is not, in other words, if you go there, you see nothing. So there's nothing on this part. So you want this to swing. Okay, and then I like to have that. There we go. Okay, now then, we will get our images together here. Get all this stuff over there so it can get on the edge and fall over and get lost. I'm going to put this right up here. Okay, so we have Daffodil Delight. And this is Bumblebee. Now, with the new ones, what I do is I put this on this edge. But what I see a lot of people are taking these extra ones and they're putting them down in here. Because you know what? A lot of times it's difficult to tell between the colors. I always go light to dark, but it's still... See how this one is? Whoop. Get it all over me. Okay, so with our Daffodil Delight here, we're going to take our first image and stamp straight down. Give it time. You always want to give time for that ink to transfer. And then this is going to be our darker color. And what I'm going to watch is this V right here. Can you see, let me get up here a little bit, this V right here. I hope that is not, I don't know how to get that off the screen. Um, I hope it's not on the live. Hang on just a second, I'm going to mess with the thing. I'm not messing with the feed. But, um, okay, no, okay, looks easy, okay, looks easy till I start doing it, have to watch the video again when I make this one. Yeah, it's just, Denise, it is, um, it really is very easy. Once you've done it a couple times, then it becomes very easy. But with any of them, it's just a matter of getting it set right and watching it. So, so Jesse, that is, is that note on Susan Baronet coming across on the feed Can somebody let me know? Okay. I don't think so. I hope not. Anyway. Okay. Let's let's power on through. Okay. So now we are going to go to our next darker card and I'm going to watch this V here and this point here. Whoop. I don't want to do that. I want to do that with this one. That was almost an oopsie. Okay, this right here, I am going to point right to that point, and then I am going to put the V kind of right over the V. Now, I can't see. My vantage point is not as good as if I were sitting. Okay, that looks fairly good. Okay, give it a chance to transfer. There we go. All righty. Okay. Then on our mossy meadow, we are going to do our leaf. 
straight down, straight up. Okay, and then we're going to go back to our smaller image here. Straight down, straight up. And then our second one here. right there and that basically is all there is to it and then we will take our dies and die cut them but the magic of YouTube I have got them cut out let me get these put away open ink pads are sometimes a recipe for disaster if you're not using them Okay, now then. I'm going to do with my dimensionals here. Put about three of them, and I kind of shape it just a little bit, just kind of so it's not just totally flat. And then I'm going to put it right about there. And this, I'm going to put two dimensionals here. Thank you for helping us to do this card. I really liked it when you showed it a while back. Oh, Karen, hi. There is a banner across your YouTube. So hard to see what you're making. I know, and I don't know how to get that off. Is anybody a, switch, a switcher studio aficionado to help me with that? I'll try and move up here. And um, I will take extra pictures when I post the uh, tutorial so that you've got a good vantage point, particularly from this way so that you can tell how it goes. It is simple, um, but at first it seems kind of um, confusing, but it's not. Trust me. I'll get you there. And if anybody has trouble, go on the website, hit the contact me button, and we'll walk you through whatever, um, whatever we need to do. And then I'm going to glue this little end down here. Now this little guy here, I am going to put on the inside... And I don't have um, a verse on the inside. I like to leave mine. Okay, now I'm thinking of you. Okay. So I will get my memento black. I hope that's straight. I can't quite get to it. If it isn't after YouTube, I rip it off and change it. <laughs> when I sit and craft, I get right over something so I get a good vantage point. Because of the cameras and everything, I cannot get right on top of it. So if you're looking this way down, you cannot get that good um, perception like you can if you're sitting right directly over it. And a lot of times I will stand up and just go right over it. And that way it, it's straight. I will be... That one is just a little off. Okay, and now... Get what's left of my little pearls here, which are sticking to me. <laughs> it's 
like uh, Jesse, you'll remember when I used to come home from the store in the summertime with sandals and I'd have glitter on my feet and everybody would be going, been glittering, Mom? One time I had, I was using yellow gl glitter and I had brown sandals on and they were kind of yellowish brown by the time I got home. So, you know, you got to get into your work. Whoop. Let me get this here. Okay. There you go. That is it. And in the interest of no naked envelopes, I have stamped this. So there is the card and it pulls open this way. So it really is very easy. The only thing you're going to be doing is you will want to set this here first. And you glue this panel down and make sure you've got an even amount. And then you lay this down as if you were putting it in as a panel piece and you put the glue on the other side or your tape on the other side, close this. So the only thing that's holding that is just right there on the white. So that pulls it up. So it really, that is basically all there is to it. But I'll get some real good photographs when I go and put it on the, um, on the website for you. And I also will get the winner on the last video. Oh my gosh. That is not good. We need to know who winners are, huh? Okay, yes, Rachel Tessman. In fact, I've talked to her. She's got um, she's got a segment. In fact, I've been watching them, and she did. She also did a training with uh, Kylie Bertucci too. But Rachel and Rachel is such a sweetheart. She is just really a sweet, sweet lady. I appreciate that. Try to right click on the comment. Okay, I will go do that. I know, I know I'm into there and I've read and there's a lot of people having the same issue and I I printed out the steps and went through them and it still didn't change, but um, I will contact YouTube directly. Okay, thank you very much. And there will be a drawing on this video also. And if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, comment, subscribe. If you're already subscribed, uh, put um, already subscribed. And that gets you in for four entries to the drawing. And we have several drawings that are going. We have a drawing for each video. Then we have a drawing at the first of the month that usually will give you your choice between a couple of stamp sets, uh, some designer papers, and the paper pumpkin, the new one. And uh, incidentally, is it Debbie that's waiting for hers? Yes, Debbie Overton. Okay. I got part of my paper pumpkins yesterday. So usually they all come together. They better be more coming because, uh, <laughs> so there's usually piled up on my, uh, on my uh, front porch. But uh, anyway, I'm hoping to get the rest of them. Haven't forgot you on that. So anyway, we have that on the first. And then what happens to these tickets is they go into a big tub for the end of the year. And uh, I'd like to have something really big at the end of the year uh, as a drawing. So I appreciate it. But the, And the sharing really does help me. And I am just, I might have already crossed the thousand, but I'm just right there. Seem to be hanging. Seems like I've been hanging for days there. I made myself stop looking because it was driving me nuts. Anyway, so if you if anybody needs a catalog, hit, go to the website, hit the contact me, um, 
and let me know that you'd like a physical catalog. Now, if you want to look at the catalogs, you can go to over on the right side, it'll say catalog. You can download it. You can't download the, the brand new one yet. It hasn't gone live uh, till the first of the month. I think it's the fourth or the fifth, but I can mail them out. I can give them to you. So if you're local, I'd be happy to shoot a catalog over to you. If you're not, I'll put it in the mail. But it will be live also to view um, just, I believe it's the 4th or 5th. Gosh, I don't remember now. Anyway, okay. So I think I've just about hit everything. I appreciate all of those that were here and uh, those that support my channel. I really, I just can't believe that I've, we've got a thousand subscribers. That just is, blows my mind and I am so appreciative. So anyway, thank you. Have a great rest of the week, and I will see you. I am trying my best to do it at 10 o'clock Mountain Time on Tuesday and on Friday. So, um, God willing, and the creeks don't rise, we'll be here. So, you guys have a great rest of the week, and we will see you again. Peggy, good to see you. Carol, all right. Denise, thank you so much for joining me. And we will see you on Friday. And also, keep letting me know what you want to see. I have got a ton of things with the new catalog. But I hate to do too much, too much ahead of time because it's things you can't buy yet. So I've been hanging off with my new stuff, but I've got, I got like, what, six, six boxes of stuff. So anyway, it'll keep us busy for a while. But if there's anything in particular you want to see, let me know, please. So have a great day, everybody. And thank you so much for the support. And.